Wood County's history is back on display and open to the public after water damage forced museum officials to close for the past 10 months. Like you walk into the Mary and Carl back room, the floor is a huge puddle. There's water coming from all over the ceiling. It's like, ugh. That was December 27th of last year, a day Wood County Museum Director Annette Wells would like to look past. How bad is this going to get, you know, and you just keep falling. In 2022, while the museum was closed for Christmas, temperatures plunged outside, high winds knocked out the boiler, causing the building to freeze and some of the 88 radiators to crack and leak water. The attic froze first, and so uh, water travels down, <laughs> so the, the third floor flooded out. Then it went down to the second floor where the exhibits are. Oh my gosh. These radiators are leaking. There were some of them that were visibly spraying water. I mean, you could see it. It was like a water fountain coming out the side. The museum had three exhibits on display. One display, Allure and Illusion, had a room full of wedding dresses dating back to 1855. There was standing water in the center of the room. Um, by some miracle, none of the dresses got wet. You're running out of the room with, with you know, mannequins with wedding dresses on them. With $50,000 in damages, new flooring, radiators, and lighting were replaced throughout the building that opened as a poor farm in 1869. That doesn't count the revenue that was lost from being closed. So those are two separate pots of money, of course. Um, our building is owned by the county, so we do get some help with that um, for the plaster repairs, the new flooring that had to go in and those types of things. The museum will celebrate with a grand reopening on Thursday at 3.30 p.m. The public is invited to attend. In Bowling Green, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.